Hey guys, what's up? So we're back with another Wake Skate Wednesday. So as you can notice by me being inside, we've actually had a run of really bad weather. So I haven't really been able to get one going for, or just do one outside for you. But I've got some stuff uh, filmed already and we can, can talk you through some tricks. So it's not too much of a stress. We'll make a plan to make sure you guys still have a trick for the week. And yeah, so this week we're gonna get stuck into a three shove. The backside three shove version um first of all like we could do the backside one first because it is a, a much easier version than the front three shove um you know i've had a couple of people ask me who prefer the front shove and they're like oh can i do you know how do i do a front three shove and i'm like man that trick is actually a lot harder than you're doing your back one so or doing a back three shove so if you do find your front shove stronger um Go back to the back shove tutorial, maybe just work on them a little bit there, see if that helps you. And then the next platform after that is straight into this three shove, I think. You know, if you've got a solid back shove, you'll get this trick reasonably quick. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. So yeah, first step for your back three shove. Uh, we're gonna kick it off the same way we do every tutorial, you know, foot position in. Very similar, if not the same, to your backside shove. You might want to try and move your front foot down um, down the board a little bit more. Just because, like I said in the back shove tutorial as well, it makes uh, the board spin a lot faster. So you might want to give that a go. So yeah, move your foot all the way down, or not all the way down, move your foot back down the board and set it up over there. Then once you've got your feet right, we're going to edge out and flatten off. Once again, guys, this trick here, this is so key to um, landing your three shoves. Um, for this edge, you're gonna do heel side again. Uh, we won't do toe side. Once you start doing more three shoves, you might find the toe side variation a little bit easier, but for now, we're just gonna stick with the heel side one the same way we did a back shove. Then when you come to your pop and your scoop, so you're gonna, first of all, make sure you flatten off, like I said, and then pop and scoop's gonna go. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to scoop this trick too hard and they forget about their pop. So you don't want to be scooping super early. Um, you don't want to be scooping like super hard or so hard that you come off balance. I actually want you to think only scooping about 20% harder than you do on a shove. And the rest of your rotation is actually going to come from you letting your board spin and following through with your back foot as opposed to, um, you know, really flicking it hard. It really is key to, to the control of the three shove is if you actually pop it nicely, flick it softly, then it comes around nice and slowly and you can control it on the way down. So the biggest thing that one of the biggest like things I ever read that gave me help me out on this trick was uh, it was an Aaron Reed three shift thing. You're saying you gotta put your board in a place and for this trick, I want you to try to put your board in front of you. Try to place it in front of you so that as it spins and it comes around and it's rotating, you kind of catching up with it. You're not kind of throwing it and it's going behind you. So there's a couple things that can make your board go behind you. One is scooping too early and one is just trying to scoop it too far underneath you and not far enough in front of you. So that's a big one for uh, your pop and scoop. Make sure you get it out nice and far in front of you. Then, okay, now you've popped your scoop, the board's in the air and it's spinning under your feet. At this point, I want you to start looking for that point when the board comes around at 270 and I think on the shelf we said, you know, that's a point of control and Exactly the same thing. As the board comes around 270, you're gonna to wanna to catch it, guide it down back onto the onto your feet. It's pretty much essentially the same way again as you do with the back shove. You'll notice the tricks are actually very similar. It's just one extra rotation, but it's getting that extra rotation in a controlled way that kind of makes it so that makes this trick a little bit more a little bit tougher or trickier. Um, oh yeah, another thing before you pop. Remember that handle control. We don't want to have that handle in funny places. You want to make sure the handle's nice and close to your body and that you're balanced. It's really easy to forget that when you have this board just helicoptering underneath you. So don't forget the handle control. It's really just a pop, scoop, and a flick on this trick, but there are some common uh, mistakes that people tend to make. A lot of people, like I said, they try to pop and scoop straight away. A lot of people try to flick so hard that they come off balance. Pay close attention to my head here um, when I'm scooping and flicking. Uh, really steady, really you know, moving nice and easily. Uh, as of late, when I've started doing three shoves, I've started focusing more on uh, doing a shove that I let spin longer than doing a shove that I try to flick harder. 
if that makes sense. So I'm kind of just following through with my back foot and letting it go around as opposed to uh, trying to um, let them, you know, just trying to flick it hard and coming around on the, at the same time as the board rotates. So that is pretty much m my big advice, you know, don't try to flick too soon, don't try to flick too hard so that puts your balance, focus on your head. That pretty much does it for the three shove at this point. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything else you want to ask about the back three shove, please feel free to hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you guys feel you need. And yeah, just please keep the Wake Skate Wednesday Love going. Now that you've got your three shoves down, go have a look at a couple of the other tutorials. Maybe you want to hit a kicker, maybe you want to hit a rail, maybe you want to shove off a rail. There's a whole bunch of options. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you want next. Peace.